Okay, so here we are in Brownsville, Texas, um, on the intersection of uh, Frontage and Wild Rose. And here's an elevator. I don't know what brand it is or anything, but I know it's an elevator. Look at that. The doors are completely mechanical. They have had no upgrades. They open pretty fast, too. And they have the little mechanical push bars to make sure that no one actually hurts anything. Look at that vent. It only goes up maybe like a couple of feet, but it's an elevator. There's some information up here, but I don't think, but I think that's like private. Well, I mean, if it's private, they wouldn't put it in an elevator. Huh. Nice. Anyway. Got the standard layout, you got like the this thing should have a fan, but it's kind of off. Safety ray. I don't know what this is. What is this? Wow, it actually captured it as a face. Yeah, it's actually capturing it as a face. Congratulations, camera, but still. Anyway, yeah, I don't know what this does, but I don't have a key, so. Well, why would I need a key anyway? Then you got the service, the fireman, the buttons that you usually use to for elevate. There's no closed door button though. The door closes pretty quickly anyway. Anyway, going up the two, listen to this motor. This is a really, really raggedy elevator. And the door's open. Now but there's the bargain buck place. Yeah, these elevators need to like, do that with it. And that's how this mechanism works. It's like one of the little bump bars. Uh, give me a second to zoom out. Yeah, it's a bump bar. Not like one of the like, new infrared things that you use. Like, this thing here definitely does not have any infrared. So you push the open door button. The door's open. And then here we are. There's a little dentist office. That place is closed. You can see for pretty far from here. And there's the highway. Yep, highway. Oh, time to go back down. I don't know the brand of this cab. I really do not. It just says its capacity is 2,500 pounds. And there's a toothbrush up there. Probably because it's a dentist's office. And one of the lights are burned out. Oh well. Time to head back down. Yeah, not so ragged as it goes down. Here's the phone. And they got a bunch of other stuff, but anyway, yeah. This, uh, guessing by the wood paneling, I'd say 70s or 80s or something like that. Somewhere around that time. Time frame. I don't know. Maybe an expert can actually help me figure that one out. There's the shaft. Blue. Hmm. Huh. Who would have guessed? Yep. But it's just your standard elevator. I'm gonna close. And that's it. 